Hello and welcome everybody. It's Rose Smith here from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, I'm here with uh, this week's Pick a Card Weekly Tarot Reading. So pick a number now between 1 and 5 and I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you. You can have more than one number if you like. If you have five numbers, <laughs> you'll have a lot to think about. Okay, and if you're new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now. Okay, let's go to the board and see what these cards have to say. Uh, it is for the week commencing 25th of July 2022, but don't worry about the date because you'll know if this is for you or not. Okay, you'll feel it in your body. Pay attention. Uh, tune in to your body. Maybe take a few deep breaths and, and focus on how you feel. Okay, so we're doing card number one first. Card number one. Okay, I've got different shades of blue flashing in front of me. Uh, there is some navy here, navy blue, uh, dark and the darker blues. Maybe you have been feeling a bit blue lately, particularly if you're in the southern hemisphere because we're in winter time and we've had a fair degree of rain, although today does look sunny finally here on the beautiful Gold Coast in Queensland okay so uh, but then there's bright sky blue so i feel like you're moving out of uh, sort of a sadder or depressed type of energy or uh, sort of down it's like a uh, you know uh, a down vibe <laughs> for want of a better word into a much brighter stage of life if you've picked uh, card number one the card that comes up uh, is the ace of swords okay so your thinking uh, is going to pull you out of uh, any doldrums you may have been feeling there's a lot of new life coming to you uh, and it's like spirit is handing you the ability to think more clearly this week some challenges here in the background uh, mountains represent challenges climbing a, uh, uh, a mountain is not easy <laughs> And you'll notice that there are sort of shades of blue, but this is more darker blue, this card uh, as well. Depends on your monitor as to, you know, if, you, if you're seeing that or not. Uh, but yeah, there's this, there is a bit of a blue tone going on here, especially around the mountains. Uh, and so the Ace of Swords, a new beginning uh, starts in your thinking, a new opportunity. Uh, maybe it's a new project. Uh, it could even be that you're thinking about a new relationship, but it's not so much about the feelings that's involved with that. It's more just about the process of thinking. So new ideas coming to you if you pick card number one. Card number two, closing my eyes now. What do I see? What do I see? Card number two, a magnifying glass. This is about really honing down on something, getting to the detail of it. Uh, it's important to do that sometimes you do need details you know they say that old saying the devil's in the details um, however you don't want to lose your big picture view of something either so uh, yes details are important let's see what card comes out and uh, okay it's the two of cups so this is a union this is a coming together a completion uh, it's it it's to do with emotions it could be to do with a relationship in particular there's healing around this see the two snakes here uh, there's healing and you're seeing in the other person you're seeing a part of yourself reflected in the other person the angels are looking out and I'm watching all of this so it's quite a sacred process coming together if you've been in an off and on or a casual arrangement with somebody maybe it goes to another level now I don't think the card's strong enough to indicate that for certain. Uh, you probably need other influences as well, but it is an indicator, okay? If you're not in a relationship, it means that you're coming together or coming into union with energies that are within your own subconscious, but it is a healing whichever way you look at it. So it's a quite a favourable card. All right, card number three now. Card number three. Oh, and by the way, um, if you are watching, uh, please leave a positive review on Google for Absolute Soul Secrets. I would really appreciate that. Uh, or on Facebook as well. That would be great. Okay, card number three. Card number three. 
uh, let's go with that one there close my eyes now what do I see I'm walking between two mountains I saw this earlier on Facebook actually it's like there's some challenges around but there's a pathway through it's a bit of a windy curvy sort of path so it's interesting uh, but it's not a straight path so you might not necessarily see what's coming because you're going around a corner uh, and uh, whichever way you look at it uh, it is interesting and uh, it's not finished the matter is not finished but you are moving forward so that's the main thing now I'm on a train and uh, it's m moving around corner to the right so that indicates that there could be more logical thinking analytical thinking maybe you're counting numbers or something like that science mathematics money uh, money is a good example of that uh, here we have the star card sending your hopes and dreams out to the universe and the universe hears all and she's dressed in this be beautiful blue green color in touch with her subconscious her intuition the moon is here as well and uh, out go those those messages so the universe hears you but this card is like there's a lot of potential uh, in your ideas it's like a young uh, woman uh, maybe in her late teens or early 20s with the whole of her life stretched out before her and she can pick and choose what she wants to do so a lot of potential it's a fabulous card number three okay number four number four what's this I see a tree branch okay so family uh, member a branch of the family and a family member uh, it's breaking off uh, I want to say the word disintegrating uh, you, if you're watching and you've picked number three, you may have had a falling out with a family member uh, and or that person somehow become distant to the family. Another possible meaning is that um, uh, that there's some children in the family that nobody knows about. <laughs> so you could have additional family members that you don't know that you didn't know about. Maybe you'll be finding out soon. <laughs> Uh, we don't know who of course uh, it is in the family uh, but I'll leave that to you to figure out okay so card number four uh, that one there and it's the knight of wands okay this is about exploration adventure maybe travel uh, but he's not going very quickly he's, go he's going at his own rate which is a fairly slow rate because he's here on a tortoise but there is growth and opportunity around it I don't know if you can see those green leaves on the baseball bat there uh, so there's some green leaves so growth is coming and action will be taken okay but knight of wands is somebody um, who is it is like a young masculine energy uh, that wants to explore the world and there's so much more uh, that he can do He's not sort of um, <clears throat> satisfied with his life uh, now. And um, it's like he wants to find out what's out there. He's curious. What's out there in the great unknown? Okay, the great unknown. So I think it's a good, I think it's a good car. So, uh, sometimes it means there's a change in residence as well. Uh, so you might be thinking about that pick card number four card number five now closing my eyes what do i see uh for card number five five is alive okay i see a ladder okay so this is making progress going up um raising your frequency basically you're raising your frequency but effort is required it's not always easy actually i'm seeing these um these green leaves that were on this baseball bat i'm seeing on the ladder so it's almost like the baseball bat is vertical like that but it's a ladder that i'm seeing for number five uh so great spiritual work you're doing there if you're doing uh if you've picked card number five the card that comes out the king of pentacles uh this guy this masculine energy is a master of money <laughs> but it's important to say that normally this person is quite uh quite balanced he didn't get to this uh sort of um level in life without being balanced so it's not exclusively a focus on money 
Uh, it is there is a lot of reward though. There's a tremendous amount of reward, and there's a tremendous amount of intuition uh, in this card as well because you see uh, you see all of that um, purple color there. Uh, which is associated with intuition. So a mature energy, uh, somebody like this might come into your life and might actually be able to assist you with finances or alternatively, you have to find this energy within. But uh, it's about um, organising your finances and being in charge of the physical realms. This can also mean your physical body uh, if you've had some ill health, there might be some improvements there. You might be feeling uh, more vital. Uh, or perhaps there's some changes around your possessions, which you're masterfully managing. Okay, but it's a fabulous card too. Alrighty, so we've only got one major arcana. It's interesting because on Facebook this morning there was none. Uh, no major arcana and here there's only one. And uh, we've only got one royal. On Facebook, uh, we had two royal cards. So it's not a huge big week uh, for most people. It's a, a matter of working uh, quietly uh, in the background and getting stuff done, uh, improving your finances, uh, thinking straight, and being in touch with your subconscious, your intuition, and your emotions. Okay. So that's it. I hope this is useful for you. Uh, leave a comment uh, or a like. That would be fabulous. Or share on your socials or uh, write me a positive review on Google. That would be fabulous too. Okay, have a wonderful week, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Uh, thanks and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.